Hello tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the heart of the Windows Server world to explore the battle of the giants. Windows Server 2022 versus 2019. If you're a sysadmin, IT professional, or just someone fascinated by the latest in server technology, you're in the right place. Let's start. Let's start the comparison of security features. Windows Server 2022 have hypervisor-based code integrity. This feature ensures that only trusted code runs on the hypervisor, bolstering the security of virtual machines and the underlying server infrastructure. It's essentially a safeguard against unauthorized or malicious code execution within your virtualized environment. Next on our list is Secured Core Server. This advanced security feature provides hardware and firmware protections against persistent threats and sophisticated attacks. It's like having a fortified castle for your server, making it more resilient to various cyber threats. Moving on, we encounter hardware-enforced stack protection. This feature enhances the security of applications on the server by preventing certain types of exploits that target stack-based buffer overflows. It's an extra layer of defense against potential vulnerabilities in your application stack. Now let's talk about transport layer security. TLS plays a critical role in ensuring secure communication over computer networks. It encrypts data and maintains the integrity of communications, which is vital for safeguarding sensitive information as it traverses the internet. Now let's compare the platform flexibility we come to uncompressed image size. Reducing the size of the OS image might sound simple, but it leads to more efficient storage utilization and faster deployment of virtual machines. It's all about optimizing resources for better performance. Now, Dynamic Source Routing, DSR, introduces dynamic routing of network packets, optimizing communication paths and improving network performance. This enhances the efficiency of data transfer across your server infrastructure. Let's explore virtualized time zone. It's all about optimizing resources for better performance. Now, dynamic source routing, DSR, introduces dynamic routing of network packets, optimizing communication paths and improving network performance. This enhances the efficiency of data transfer across your server infrastructure. Let's explore virtualized time zone. This feature allows virtual machines to have their own time zones, simplifying the management of systems across multiple regions. It's a practical solution for those dealing with diverse geographical setups. Now, let's dive into the new administrative tools. The new Windows Admin Center is packed with enhancements like automatic updates, automated extension management, an event workspace for tracking data, and a configurable destination virtual switch. The Diatacher Blavens Overview Screen provides an improved overview of system events. In the realm of virtualization, the upgraded Hyper-V Manager steals the spotlight with features improved action bar. The enhanced action bar in the Hyper-V Manager is designed for more efficient virtual machine management. It provides a streamlined interface, making common tasks quicker and more user-friendly. Live Storage Migration Live Storage Migration allows for the relocation of a virtual machine's storage while it's still running. This feature ensures continuous operation with minimal downtime providing flexibility in managing storage resources dynamically. Affinity and anti-affinity rules. Affinity rules permit the specification of which virtual machines should run on the same host, optimizing resource utilization. Anti-affinity rules, on the other hand, ensure specific VMs are kept on separate hosts for increased availability and resilience. VM clones VM cloning enables the rapid deployment 
of identical virtual machine configurations. This is particularly beneficial for scenarios requiring multiple instances of the same setup, saving time and resources. Running workloads between servers. The capability to move running virtual machines between different servers enhances workload management. It allows for dynamic resource allocation and efficient utilization of computing resources. New partitioning tool. The new partitioning tool provides advanced capabilities for managing storage partitions within virtualized environments. It offers more precise control over disk resources, facilitating optimized storage management. And last, but certainly not least, we have hybrid cloud support. Windows Server 2022 brings technologies Azure Arc integration. Windows Server 2022 integrates seamlessly with Azure Arc, extending Azure services and management capabilities to on-premises servers. This integration enables a unified management experience across hybrid environments, making it easier to leverage cloud resources. Storage Migration Service. The Storage Migration Service simplifies the migration of server data, configurations, and applications to the cloud. It streamlines the transition from on-premises servers to cloud storage, supporting hybrid scenarios and enhancing overall infrastructure flexibility. To wrap it up, Enhanced Kubernetes Experience introduces features like host process containers. Windows Server 2022 enhances support for host process containers, improving the isolation of processes within a container. This contributes to enhanced security and efficient resource utilization in containerized environments. Support for multiple subnets. The support for multiple subnets in Kubernetes environments provides increased networking flexibility. It allows for the deployment of containerized applications across diverse network configurations, accommodating complex and distributed architectures. In conclusion, these features and enhancements collectively contribute to a more secure, flexible and well-managed server environment in Windows Server 2022. As IT professionals, understanding these advancements is crucial for staying ahead in server technology. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech insights, and let us know in the comments which features you're most excited about. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.